Hello everyone, it's Robin here and welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to see you all today. So today we are diving into my classic happy planner here and I'm gonna be building one of my favorite pages of the month and that's the Currently page. I love doing a Currently page because it just, when you look back on them, you can just see all the things that you were into throughout the year and that little bit of memory keeping in the planner is super fun. I'm gonna pull in some stickers from my Etsy shop. I feel like we need some tropical birds. So I'm gonna hit my Toucan Tropics because I am loving these birds and I'm loving the colors. So I can't wait to get this started. So let's flip the camera down and see what I'm currently up to. So I have my August currently page here and this is the page in the planner that's right before the monthly divider. And uh, we're gonna get going on this. I'm really excited. I have these toucan stickers here. Aren't they cute? Look at these birds. I love birds and I want to get some tropical birds in my planner before summer gets away from us. And I'm also loving these colors. These are on my website. This is Toucan Tropics and this is Toucan Durante because a group of toucans is called a Durante, which I find hilarious but we'll be using those for sure I'm also bringing in some of the boxes from the collection this is Amazon it's a really deep teal color and then here is that lighter blue color and this is rainforest and um, I may I don't know I may pull in some green too but we'll see we'll see what happens as we get going and again also since I'm doing the currently page I'm pulling in my currently script stickers this is for summer we have a lot of script stickers reading watching planning and so on and um, I have one that is more so these are more words so I have one of these for each of the seasons and there's three words three stickers for each word so you if you had all four of these sticker sheets you would get through an entire year of currently pages and then add in maybe one currently script more sticker sheet and uh, there's some other words to play with I'm excited to get this started so let the tropical birds begin so there's two very large stickers and I think I'm gonna use both of them in here. These birds, oh my gosh, look at this. I was really drawn to not just the birds but the color palette of the stickers because I really love the blues and the greens together. It's a very Hawaiian kind of color tone to me and I love, love, love it. I'm gonna put these guys right down here. They're gonna nestle right at the bottom here to take over my page just like so. I don't even want them hanging off. Do I want them hanging off? Let's see. If I hang them off, I'll be cutting that. I kind of want to leave some of the leafing. We'll trim maybe a little. We'll just hang them like that. So cute. So August, this is the only one that there isn't anything written down here because there's no holidays apparently in August. Is that our one free month of holidays? I guess. Let's go ahead and trim these little pieces off on here. Okay, that looks super cute. And this other one is a bunch of hanging foliage in the beautiful green and blue tones that I love so much. And I think I'm gonna put this kind of right up here and let it just drape down. Let's see, I can put it right in the center. I go over the 2024, but you know, that, that could be okay. I don't want to go too off to the side. Let's just kind of put it right. This feels right. Let's see what happens at the top. <laughs> just trust trust it. It, it. it covers the two a bit. But, you know, we still, we still get the gist of it, right? Oh, so beautiful. Okay, so I have birds. I have little flowers. And I do need to get some boxes in so i could use both of these colors let me pull in this green this is a monstera sheet i wanted to see if i wanted to put some green in because the amazon and the rainforest the two blues actually do look really nice with this because this pop of green is pretty or i could pull in that or i could pull in that i'm almost kind of just liking the blues let's do that Making it up as we go, which is what we usually do, right? Okay, let's see how many want to do. So I can make this a section, and then in here I can fill in, I don't know, I can fill in like maybe five-ish, six-ish? Something like that. Let's do it. I just reached back into my washi tape and I have this really thin, vibrant green, and I think this is where we can get that fun green color in. 
So let's go ahead and line this up. I'm, I, I know I'm putting it over the top of this, but I'm either gonna lay it under or cut around. Let's lay it under. So let me, let me lift this sticker just a touch. And then we'll just go straight across with it. There we go. Yes, I like that. And just trim it there. And let's go ahead and continue. Okay, that should do it. I also, while I'm at it, just take care of this. Just cover up this take note as well as priorities. And now we are set to continue to lay down some boxes. Let's start with one of these larger boxes here. And I'm just gonna, it's a feeling. I'm just gonna start right here. We'll see what happens. And I'm using the lines to help get it somewhat straight, but we'll start this to build our box clusters. And let's see, do I want to go? I think I want to go, I want to add other colors to this other blue. Let's just do that. This feels good. I'm just kind of making this up. No real rhyme or reason. I just know I need five to six boxes in here somehow. Okay. I think I want this other square. I do like the square boxes. And I'm trying to balance out my colors too. And I kind of want this one up in this top area. Actually, let's go kind of more in the center. I'm leaving a lot of spaces between these, but we have smaller boxes we can kind of put in there as well as other decor. Okay, okay, I'm enjoying this. Let's grab one of these boxes, a dark box, and see what we can do with this. We can kind of place it there. I can also go right here. Oh, that might work. Let's do that. It's going into that box quite a bit, but that could be okay. It's kind of cute. Let's do another one of those and maybe one in this color for up in here because we can go like that with it. Um, I kind of like that. And again, I'm using these lines, so it's kind of dictating where some of these boxes are going. Okay. Okay, I actually kind of like that. And I and I and I think that's interesting that that's kind of glopped over like this. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We have six. That should work because I can also use this area too. So that gives me seven currently areas. And I still have some room for some decor. Perfect. Oh, we could put a bird up here, right? Yes. That would be really cute. Let's find a bird. Kind of want to do that. These are a little smaller and we want one facing this direction. So I don't know if this one would work or if I need one that's looking down. Might need the one looking down. Oh, see, see, look. He's just kind of hanging out over here. Okay, we're gonna put more birds so it'll level, but um, this is the general idea. Can't have too many birds. I need to fit my currently word in. I need to figure out what I'm doing here and we need to uh, title all of these. So let's work on that a little bit before we add in more decor. So these are the currently sheets and these are full sheets, but I do have some that I've been working off of. So I'm gonna pull those in because we don't wanna waste the stickers, right? So I'm gonna pull in this currently word from this sheet first and figure out where we're gonna put this. So since I've made this whole sheet, like a currently, I mean, I could put it there. I could even put it at the bottom. I can also put it over here. This might be interesting, because there is this space right here, although I could put a bird there. I kinda wanna put a bird there. Maybe we'll put it right here. Let's do that. We'll just smack it right in the center and we're connecting these boxes by doing so. It's a, just a little crooked. There, currently. Yes, perfection. Okay, so let's see. Um, I know 
at the top, um, I want to do the word playing, and I have this on the currently more. So what's fun about this top, it gives you a one, two, and three, is one of my currently words, again, I can list three things. So oftentimes I'll put three things I'm watching or something like that, but this time it's gonna be playing. The fun idea for that. Oh, I know I also want the word celebrating, so we'll pull that off of here too. And we could put it here, or I could go over here. I don't know, I kinda like it. I like it right kinda in the center here. Celebrating, that one will be good. And let's see, planning is another one. Planning is over here on this sheet. Let's do planning down here. Let's put it on the bottom. And I kind of just changed how I put these. And then I have four more up here. We can do reading. Let's do reading and watching on these two that are connected. So let's do watching right here. And we'll push it over to the side so it takes over the blue part, which is fun. And I'll put reading right here in this little space. Okay, so those two are kind of connected. That's super cute. And I have two more. So let's see. We have enjoying is always a good one. Let's do enjoying right here. There. So it goes with that. And uh, right under that is listening. So let's just do listening. Let's do a little listening. Let's put listening down here too, because maybe we can some bird action up there. And these two then kind of match. And I think that helps balance the sheet out nicely. Of course, I put that crooked, so let's fix that. Easy to do. Okay. Uh, that looks really fun. That looks super fun. Let's put some of these aside. And while we're thinking about that, let's fill this in, because there's all these flowers on here that I think could fit. Let's see if this size fits to cover the one, two, and three. Um, yeah, it does look. So let's just pull a bunch of those. Cause I don't need them numbered necessarily. And um, they're all kind of going every which way, which I also like. And I think that's uh, this size right here. I just want them a little bit different like that. Um, yeah, that looks really cute. And we were going to put a bird up here. And I think this big bird, this big toucan would work. Wouldn't he? Is he too big? I could put him right in here and his tail feathers go into that, which is fine. He balances these guys out. Oh my gosh, I love these birds so much. So there's a, they're facing every which way and there's like two or three different types of birds. Are there two different? Three three different, I don't know. There's a lot of birds. It's a whole Durante of toucans. <laughs> there is a strip of three here. Let's, let's see if we can play with this because it still has those really pretty flowers that I'm attracted to, the green. And let's see if we can set this right here in the center to kind of pull all this together as one. Um, I like the florals. And if we did that, these florals might be really pretty just kind of hanging out down here. You know, just hang these florals out. So I don't know if we need any more birds down there necessarily. Kind of have a lot of birds, right? But I'm kind of going balancing act. Matchy, matchy balancing. We have these pink ones, these plumerias. That kind of looks nice there. I mean, we don't have to use all the flowers, do we? No. Maybe we'll just put that kind of in there. I feel like I need a couple of these little ones. Kind of just dipping off of some of these. I mean, it is a jungle, right? We're going to leave the top alone, but I do have one cut one, and I'm just going to put it right here to help pull this color over here a little bit because there's so much on the other side. Right here. Let's do that. I think we're done. <laughs> so this is super cute. Now I know this covers this. How do we feel about that? 
This leaf right here, I kind of want to take this flower off. So here's what we're going to do. I need to pull this off, but I think what I'll do is I'll mimic what I'm doing over here. I'm just going to cut the line. I'm going to see how this looks. I'm going to cut it right at the washi so it looks like it's going underneath it. And I'm going to use this green as part of the foliage, I guess. Oy. But I want this other one to still go above. So I'm just cutting that part off. We'll see how that looks. Because the way it's going into that 2024 is just very claustrophobic. Okay, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. And then I'll turn this around and put it right up here. So it's kind of going in and out of that whole thing. Okay, good. Now I'm good. Now I'm good. This is clear. I feel much better. Okay, so I need to grab some pens. We need to figure out what we're uh, playing, watching, reading, enjoying, listening, celebrating, and planning. So many fun things. I'm bringing in three pens here because I don't know which one I want to use. I have my Papermate Flare, which is a felt tip marker. I have my Micron 03, and I have a regular Sharpie S gel, which gives me some fine lines if I want to do that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start here. And I'm going to write down what are we playing. So let's see. I'll tell you. Okay, so uh, what we're playing are some board games. We've been playing a lot of board games this month. And the first one is Carcassonne. It's one we love to play, but we've been playing it outside in the screen porch because Rod just finished the screen porch and we've been having fun out there and the cats have been coming out with us and it's been a lot of fun. We've also been playing Splendor, which is like this gem building game, which is really fun with Rod's parents when they come over. So we've been playing that too. And we have a new board game called Yak which is also kind of fun because they have these yaks, these wooden yaks and you get product and whatnot, but it's fun, it's fun. So we've been playing board games and we've been having fun. So it's a fun summer. Now this S gel is a 0.5 and this paper mate are very similar in size. So what I could have been doing is maybe getting my Muji out because it is a really fine tip if I wanted a real difference in how the writing goes. So maybe I'll pull that in right here, just in case, just in case that's what I want to do. But let's go ahead and uh, let's do watching next. As I'll tell you what I've been watching. I'm actually binging something. Okay, so I'm actually binging Grey's Anatomy. So I was a huge Grey's Anatomy fan for many, many years and somewhere along season 12-ish to 13, I just stopped watching it or I wasn't watching it very regular and just lost interest, I guess. I don't know. And um, I started watching it again and I am binging this thing like crazy because I wanted to watch it. I love Grey's Anatomy when they were all like in the beginning. That's my favorite, favorite part. And I was trying to see when it started shifting and when things changed. And while I got to all those points with those major events that happened, you know, if you know, you know, then um, I just kept going. And because I'm binging it, it's been kind of fun. I'm getting to know them really well. And it's been kind of fun. And I'm already uh, up to where I almost stopped watching it. I started doing this actually last month. And uh, I've gone through quite a few seasons. <laughs> so here we are. But I am binging Grey's Anatomy. And I'm actually enjoying it. Okay, what am I reading? Oh, I'll tell you. I need to check into it first. But I will write that down. Okay, I am reading Accidental Magic. And what I had to check into, because I'm reading this on my Kindle, is uh, the name of the author, because I couldn't remember her last name, and it's Iris Beaglehole. And what's fun about this is I'm getting into, back into my magical realism books that I love, love, love. I think fall is on the horizon, and that's what's getting me into it. But what's fun is that this is a series. It's like a cozy mystery series, and it's uh, the Myrtlewood Mysteries. Myrtlewood is where this takes place. And I think that's kind of fun. This is the first book of nine. So um, it'll be kind of fun to get into a mystery series like that. And especially if it has these witchy vibes and the magical realism. And so I'm really enjoying it. And it's, it's, just, a, it's just a fun little book. Okay, speaking of enjoying, let's go ahead and fill that out. What's, what am I enjoying? 
I'm enjoying scrapbooking. And in fact, right now I'm working on my uh, 2023 December daily album, which I kind of want to put here because that's really what I'm working on. And it's been fun revisiting all of those Christmas memories from December. And I'm really feverishly working on it because uh, Ali Edwards is uh, who I follow in the scrapbooking realm is releasing her December daily kits for this year at the end of this month. So I'm, I'm feverishly getting this one ready and done. So I'm really excited about that. I have it right here. I think I've shared this a few times on oh, my desk. It's right here. Look at that Santa. It's so cute. It's so cute. Let me open and show you one page. Okay, so here's just one of the pages. And this is just a little story that I wrote about um, like holiday shopping. And I put them on these cute little things. And uh, when we uh, went and shopping with, with the boys in Holly, we ran into them in Walmart and just took over and I made a shaker pocket for it. So yeah, super, super fun. I've been having a lot of fun doing this. So the idea for December Daily is 25 stories in December. So, um, you know, you, you kind of think of 25 days till Christmas, so 25 stories. And yeah, I'm really having fun, 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 fun with that. Okay, listening, what are we listening to? Well, I'll tell you, and it's finally happening. The cicadas are here. Yeah, we've been listening to the cicadas. These aren't that big group that's been traveling. Rod actually ran into that big group early this summer in Missouri. We never got those over here where we are. These are just our regular cicadas, the ones who just hang out here all the time. <laughs> but they're here, so we're hearing them um, in the trees as we're doing our walks and in the afternoon. So that's been a lot, a lot of fun. Okay. On to celebrating. Speaking of fun, what are we celebrating? Well, I'll tell you, because this was a lot of fun too. We've been celebrating Rami's second birthday. And I wrote Chugga Chugga Tutu because that was the theme of his party. In fact, we saw them uh, last night for some cupcakes and pizza and presents and that kind of thing. But this weekend, uh, Holly got us on this little train over in Missouri that goes through one of their state parks and it's like a 40 minute ride through the park and uh, it was really fun. It was like, it, it's a little train. So it's you're like you're sitting kind of in it, on it. <laughs> if you're an adult, you're sitting on it. And uh, it's just going through the park and all the foliage and over in Missouri, those leaves are starting to change. There is some yellow leaves going on over there. Fall is coming. Fall is definitely coming. But it was beautiful. The weather was beautiful. The train ride was fun. It was very relaxing. And uh, we just had a lot of fun. And Remy turned two, and he's adorable. So, yeah, we've been having a lot of fun doing that. Okay, last but certainly not least, what am I planning? I'll tell you. I'm planning my fall sticker release. So I've been feverishly getting that all pulled together and uh, it will be releasing next week. So next Wednesday, what is that date? That would be the 21st. So my fall sticker release is coming out the 21st and the, right after that goes, I am gonna be working on Halloween and uh, Thanksgiving. And so it should be a lot of fun. I'm really excited about my Halloween release too this year, but fall will come first and it's super fun and adorable and I can't wait. Okay, so this is done. Let me get the planner and put her in. So we are setting this Toucan Durante rainforest situation right next to my August divider. There's joy and simplicity. This isn't very simple because it's all stickered up, but I do love it. <laughs> and this is my Woodland Charm planner that I love too. But I love looking back on these and I love the seasonal quality of this too because you just leafing through them. You can see through the year what, you, what you're into and what you're interested in. And I really, really love that. Let me know down below, what are you currently up to? Are you you playing anything? What are you watching? Are you binging anything? What old shows are you binging? Uh, reading? Are you enjoying anything? Are you creating anything? Planning anything? Let me know. And are you celebrating anything? I'd like to hear about that too. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a magical day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.